Today I'm going to be showing you a demo of MetaGPT. It's a really fascinating tool. What it does is it replaces all the people in a, a software development team, like you know the boss, the, those people like product writing requirements, doing research, uh, and then the engineers actually implementing the code and then code reviewing and then actually writing documents. It's a really interesting tool. Let's dive in. My goal today is to show you how easy it is to create this really cool snake game in Python with MetaGPT by only giving it one command. This is the MetaGPT uh, GitHub repo. Let's come down here to some documents. What it's what they're calling it is, is the multi-agent framework. So it's a way for essentially GPT, uh, you know, an AI, to take all of these roles on itself. So you've got a, a software company, it, who, who's gonna be in the company? So you'll have a boss, a product manager, architect, project manager, engineer, and all the, in, in Q&A, all of these, entities are really just their own AIs and it's using chat GPT to simulate all of these things. And us as a user of this tool, all we need to do is give it a one liner and say, go build this. And it does all of these really cool things. One of the requirements for this project is that we need uh, to install this NPM package. So the NPM version I'm using is 10.1.0. And then the node version I'm using is 20.7.0. We're gonna install this mermaid package. Okay, that will download it and get that done. Next step is that we need to clone the repo. So come here to code, copy. You need to make sure that you have git installed. So git clone, and that will pull down the repo. Go ahead and dive into the main folder. Do an ls, and you see we've got several things here in the repo. Once you dive into the repo, you're gonna see this setup.py, so they recommend a Python 3 setup install, which is what I did. There is also a requirements.txt, and I also use that as well because there were some packages that just did not get installed. So let's go ahead and install those requirements as well. Now that we have those dependencies taken care of, well, let's come over here to the config, and inside the config, you're gonna to have to set up a few things. So at the top of the file, they, there's a lot of stuff in here, but I only changed a few things, and I'll show you those. See this open API, open AI API key? This is where you're gonna put your, your key. And then you can see it's using model GPT-4. You could obviously change that. Max tokens is 1500. It also supports other models like Azure, and you can set those parameters here. Another thing that I set here is for the mermaid package, I don't use that normally. And so I actually uncommented the puppeteer config and this thing here for mermaid MMDC so that those files will open. Now that everything is set up, let's come back here to the tutorial on setting up an initial project. So it's, we're gonna be using python startup.py and you can write this one liner to the AI. So write a CLI snake game. There's different parameters that you can pass here. You can see this uh, variable here, implement, false. That would mean, hey, just set up the requirements, but don't do the work. There are some code reviews here that you can actually have it do. Now that's gonna use more tokens, so that's gonna cost more money, right? Because we're using ChatGPT4 in the background. So every time you're, as it's using it more and more and more, it's gonna add up and cost a little more money. I did run this, it didn't cost that much more money on the project I did. It, what we're talking about, maybe it was like 40 more cents, so not too bad. And then here, python startup.py, write SCLI snake game. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna tell it to use Pygame. We are gonna do this command, but we're also gonna have it, we're gonna do it tac tac implement true. And here's our command, we're gonna do a python startup.py, write a CLI snake game based on Pygame, tac tac implement true. And now let's look at some of the output of the command. So it reads the config, loading done. It's explaining the investment. So it's only gonna ever use GPT enough money. It's only gonna go up to $3. So that, that's good. It's like, it's gonna stop so it doesn't waste all your money. And here is the product manager. This is Alice. She's gonna write a PRD. That's the product requirement document. And here are the contents. So here's the requirements. Develop a command line interface, CLI, snake game based on Pygame. Here are the product goals. So as it keeps going down, you see that it reports every time how much money it's using. So the total running cost here is 0.06 cents. So roughly seven cents so far out of a budget of $3. And then the architect, Bob, it's his turn. 
So he's ready to write the design. And here is the design that Bob wrote. Okay, and now it's starting to write the actual source code. We are at a budget of about 25 cents. The source code is being written here for all the classes and the modules that are needed. Now we're up to 33 cents. Okay, here are the code reviews. So, and these are the comments from the code reviews. Oh, it actually, it's gonna rewrite some code. Rewrite code main, and now it's writing snake.py. You can see here we get to the bottom and we are completely finished with a total cost of $1 to do all of that work. Now that work is done, let's pop over here into this new folder that was built. This is gonna be in workspace, CLI game. Okay, inside of the workspace folder, this is what was outputted. So all this kind of stuff here outputted to the screen, we can find it here much nicer here in, in these folders. So the CLI snake game, this is actually the implementation. So here's the Python code. In the docs folder, we've got these really cool things here. So this is the API spec and task. This was like the architect writing these things, logical analysis, what the files do, the task listing. And remember the uh, product requirement document? Here it is in a much nicer form. And then system design is here. This resources folder is pretty cool. There's actually some graphs in here, and let's look at those. So here is the data API design. So here's the game, snake, food, and score manager. Here is a really cool diagram. This is uh, it's the sequence flow diagram, really neat here. So main, the game, the snake, the food, the looping, how different modules communicate to each other. And here's the competitive analysis on the snake game. So if you wanted to like push this thing to I don't know, industry and sell the snake game, you, you know, you'd, you'd be competing with Slither.io and some of these other snake games. Now that it's finally finished, let's pop over here and actually run the game. So I pulled up main. So you can see init main, pygame.init. Here is our game, the display. This is going to be the size of the board. This is the game, passing it the surface. And now let's finally just run the game. And there it is. So you can see it's a really simple game, but you can see the real power of you can build all kinds of games and experiment and build all kinds of projects with this MetaGPT, a really fun program. Thanks for watching the video. If you found value, please subscribe and like. Thank you.